Today I just want to fill you in on a few things that you might be aware about and at the same time you might not be aware about. I'm just going to put it out there as a watchman on the wall for humanity, if you know what I mean. As a man of God, it's my job to warn you of what's going on. Now, everybody knows about Fukushima, the power plant that blew up a couple years ago. <laughs> as long as you don't believe what the television and the media has told you, you're one step ahead of everybody else. Truth is, nobody really knows what the heck happened at Fukushima, not even the government. People in the government don't even know what happened because it was a staged event, just like it was a staged event and it was planned. That's all we know. All right, now, those of you who have been uh, aware of reality for a long time know of a thing called HARP. There's not just one of them, there's multiple uh... transmitters throughout the world there's one in alaska that's the main one that most people know about it just shoots like electronic beams in the air of radiation and stuff and it's actually able to cause earthquakes and tsunamis and stuff it's scientifically proven i mean i don't really take science aside a lot of times but this stuff is real and it's not going away and you need to be aware of it about three years ago, when this nuclear uh, reactor blew up, the, obviously none of the governments around the world are going to tell the people the truth. So obviously they're going to say, everything is fine, don't panic. Alright, the United States government obviously isn't going to tell the truth about anything anything you ask them they're going to tell you the opposite i mean that's why you know you're not hearing a lot of stuff on the radio about the radiation that's in the air right now the radiation that's in my room here in the snow the, you know the television their job is to distract you from that kind of stuff the media is there to fill you in on a story to falsify what's happening and make you accept it Basically, their job is to make you stupid so you will go along with the flow while they practically bring the entire world down. Because uh, Fukushima, they knew that that reactor was going to be leaking into the ocean and they purposely built pipelines like emptying this radioactive water into the ocean. And anybody with common sense knows that the ocean has currents. That's not just going to sit and go away. That's radiation, dude. Chernobyl blew up like 20, 20 30 years ago and the radiation's still there. I mean, that ain't going to go nowhere, man. They're dumping it into the ocean. Now, that was three years ago when they started doing that. I mean, this is 2014, man. This is 2014. People forgotten about Fukushima. They've forgotten about what they're doing, man. Dude, the radiation is everywhere. I'm just saying. We are in the last days, man. If you don't believe that these are last days, I, I don't know what to say to you, brother. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the entire ocean right now. Don't ever go swimming in the ocean, whatever you do. But the entire ocean right now is infected with radioactive water. I don't care what coastline you're on. I don't care what beach you're on in the world. The entire, the entire ocean, Atlantic, Pacific, Indian Ocean, wherever you go, they all connect. They're all into one body of water, if you know what I mean. The entire ocean is now polluted, and they did that on purpose to put the fishermen out of business so when you eat the fish you get sick and you gotta go to the hospital and pay for medication it's all part of their evil plan and before the nuclear power plant blew up they deliberately deliberately blew up that oil well so all that oil would go into the water and then after the oil went into the water they poured chemicals into the ocean they poured acid to dilute the oil I don't know what they said on television because I don't watch television. I just know what they did. 
All right, they poured chemicals in the ocean and it made the oil sink to the ground. They knew that the oil was going to sink to the ocean floor, so it would kill everything. It kills off all the, cor the corals and stuff that the fish eat. All the underwater sea life basically is dead now. I mean, if you was to go diving in the ocean, like scuba diving, you're not going to see anything. Everything's dead. The whole ocean is dead. I don't want you to take my word for this. I want you to do your own research. For the last three years, every single day, Fukushima has been dumping over one million gallons of radioactive water into the ocean. Everybody knows that water has to evaporate eventually, okay? That's evaporating into the air. All right, they're releasing the, radi the radiation into the air. Now tell me, I have one question for the world. Anybody that can answer this, I want to know because I'm curious. Anybody in their right mind would have shut the power plant down when it blew up. Why the fuck is it still running and pouring water into the ocean if it's not doing that by design? They could have shut that power plant down. Life will go on without electricity. But no, they, instead of shutting the thing down, they start pouring the stuff in the ocean. Just saying, wake up. Don't believe the shit they're telling you. I don't mean to curse. I don't like to curse like I used to. But seriously, man, wake up. These times are spoke of in the Bible. If you don't know how spiritual things are, dude, you, you need to snap out of it. Snap out of these false illusions that they've been putting your mind in. It's all good, though. Don't worry. You're breathing in the radiation right now. It's on your skin. It's in your food. It's in your computer. It's in your house, your refrigerator. It's under your ball sack. It's everywhere. You're not getting away from it, so don't fear it. Just be aware of its existence. Be aware. I'm not a scientist. I don't I'm I don't have any kind of professional degrees or anything like that. To me, professionals are some of the dumbest people in the world. But anyway, at the rate that they're dumping this water in the ocean, anybody can realize if they're dumping over a million gallons of radioactive water into the ocean every day, common sense. Anybody in the world, a 3-year-old could guess that the radiation levels are going to keep rising. And the more these radiation levels rise, the sicker you and I are going to get. Think of how bad it is over in Japan, dude. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. I, I, I can't even explain how sorry I feel for those people having to deal with the radiation. That, that does a lot of stuff to your mind. Make sure, like, you get these... Radiation is probably one of the worst ways that you can die because it rots your body from the inside out. <laughs> Alright, it basically kills you from the inside out. Once you start seeing the effects on the outside of your body, it's already too late. It's already too late once you start seeing rashes and stuff on your body because the inside of your body is already contaminated. It's already begun to rot away practically. <laughs> And, uh, I, I don't know much about the radiation. I just know it's here, and it, it's very lethal. And it's in everything. It's in milk, it's in the air, it's in your water. Along with fluoride and all the other garbage they put in the water. But you already know about that stuff. Just do your research on this radiation. I, I know a lot of people say to take these potassium iodine pills... And there's a bunch of different stuff out there that helps supposedly with the radiation poisoning. But really, I mean, that's just one more chemical in your body that your body doesn't really need. I mean, if you really... <laughs> I just trust in God, man. I don't fear this stuff. I know it's here and I know it's lethal. Every one of us are affected by it already. I mean... Truthfully, there's probably just as much radiation here in the United States as what there is over in 
some parts of Japan. I mean, the, you look at the weather systems, the ocean currents, dude, it's everywhere, man. There, there's no getting away from it, and it's not going to go away. That's the thing. It's not going to go away. It's just going to get worse each and every day. Each and every day. And by the rate that they're doing it, really, I don't know. Just don't believe what they tell you on the television. That's all I can say. Nothing. I don't drink the tap water, really. I mean, bottled water's got poison in it, too. Plastic's poison, but it is. See that? The devil doesn't want you to know the truth, so he knocked my camera over. But one way or the other, the truth always overpowers evil. Peace is the most powerful weapon in the universe. Think, my friends. Think. Use your brain. God gave you a brain for a reason. He didn't give you a brain so you can sit in front of a television set and be hypnotized. He didn't give you a brain so you can sit in front of a game system all day and be brainwashed. He gave you a brain... He gave you a body and a spirit for a reason. It's our job to warn the others. Okay, right now, people have... <laughs> people are so clueless right now. I, me and you got to wake them up any way that we can. I'm not saying to go out in the street and act a fool saying, New World Order! Don't do that because you're just going to get the, the CIA... You're going to get people after you if you start going out there and making a big scene just quietly amongst your friends and amongst people you know, just quietly, but surely uh, pass the information along, I could say. I don't really know how to put that in words. Just, you know, keep it on the low, but make sure you tell other people what's going on. Because there's not much time left, man. I mean, without a doubt... The next three years is going to be the most intense three years that you've ever seen. <laughs> Me, you, everybody. We're living in times that have, have never... Times have never been like this before. Whether or not you want to believe the Bible or not is on you. I can't tell you what to do. I can only tell you what's going on. And I can only tell you what I myself have noticed. Alright? I've already made videos about the spiritual attacks, okay? You guys are now aware of that. So now I'm going to try and make you aware of something else. But, uh... It's just a matter of time. Alright? The, these politicians that everybody thinks are in control have no power at all. They're puppets for the sheeple. They are simply puppets for the sheeple. People like you and me know that they're not in control. We know that they're paid trillions of dollars to keep the mass population from seeing the truth. They want to hide the truth in plain sight. But since they're not working with Christ, they're working with the enemy. And if you work with the enemy, you're a fool. The Bible clearly speaks that. And if you've been around long enough and know the spiritual aspect, you know that to be true. The truth will set you free. Once you find out the truth, once you realize the truth, when you stare at a television set, you, you see. You see the mind tricks. You see what they're trying to do. If I watch a television program for five minutes... Either my head's going to start hurting or I'm going to feel sick to my stomach. I can't watch television. A and every everything they say on the television, I question. I can never enjoy it like I once did years ago. Because I know what it's about. It's all propaganda. Money, money, money. That's what it's all about. They... I'm just going to say about... 300 years ago, they had a couple ideas in mind. The system of money at the time was very simple. There was no such thing as a world system. 
So, money wasn't a bad idea back in the 17 and 1800s. Because life was simple. It was normal. Okay? But then, generation after generation after generation, till about the 1900s, you know, those same happy, cheerful people were not in control anymore once the 1900s came along. And at the same time, the industrial age was beginning. The system of money, I'll say, was getting more complex. And the world began to offer more opportunity. You know, the world was still all right. The creeks were clean. The oceans were clean. People's minds were clean. They didn't go around and rob everybody for no reason. They didn't go around and shoot people. You know what I mean? People back in the day had sense. Not everybody. But people overall had sense. And most of all, they lived by faith. You know what I mean? They knew right from wrong. They didn't need the fucking law to grab them by the wrist and tell them to make their every move like they do nowadays. <laughs> to me, the law and the people anymore are foolish. The way I see it, I mean the whole society is just... <laughs> the whole society as a whole... There's a lot of good people out there. You just gotta find them. That's the only thing. But overall... Overall, I gotta say, like, 80% of this society is just, they're, they're so dumbed down, it's not even funny, dude. They're so stupid. I mean, they, they want it to, I'm just gonna tell you how it started. In the beginning, money was alright. But as time went on and the industrial age came, you know, greedy bankers and just unrighteous people with unrighteous mindsets have created ways of controlling the masses. You know, believe it or not, the radio and newspapers were some of the very first two forms of brainwash. Very first two forms of propaganda, the printing press. That's what changed the world. After around the 1920s, that's when the radio started to become very popular and I don't know if it was the 1930s, 1940s, I wasn't around back then, but when television came out that is where society fell to the ground. Around the 1960s when color television came out, that was when the breakdown of society began. Now, color television back in the day was cool. Even I'll say that. Because it was analog. Alright? It wasn't like a crisp, perfect picture like you get now. Digital television grabs hold of your mind and hypnotizes you more than any analog television like could pull you in. Because now the picture is so crisp and clean. It's like the people were right in front of you. There's a reason why they made it the law where there is no analog television anymore. If you go to Walmart or Kmart, you can't buy a tube set anymore. You can't buy a real television set anymore. You're going to spend five or six hundred dollars for a little screen this big that truthfully ain't worth five dollars, man. I mean, it's insane. But they know that. There's a reason why they converted everything to digital. They found that it grabs hold of your mind and it draws you in deeper. It hypnotizes you more. Because they hired the frame rate. They hired the frequencies. The higher the frequency, the more it paralyzes your mind. There's a reason why cell phones are on a signal of like 2 gigahertz. You can communicate with somebody 100 miles away... You can communicate with somebody 100 miles away on a frequency of 27 megahertz. That is a CB radio frequency. 27 megahertz. Tell me why cell phones have a frequency of 2 gigahertz. What is the point? What is the point? They know it gives off radiation and they know it causes brain tumors. And at the same time, while you're on the telephone, it's ha it paralyzes in your mind. The transmitter is literally right next to your head transmitting a signal to the side of your face because that's usually where your antenna is. Let me show you on my cell phone. Your cell phone antenna 
It's right here. Now I took the antenna out of this phone because it's deactivated. But your phone is right there, your antenna. So when you're talking on the phone, radiation is going right to your face. They know it. It rots your teeth. Dude, the world is so crazy anymore. I could go on all day just telling you about their inventions that are basically causing the fall of man. Alright, but I, I'm not going to go on all day. I want you to do your own research. So, I don't know what else to tell you except for trust in God. Don't fear anything. Although you walk through the valley of shadow of death, you fear no evil and no man troubleth you. Don't fear. Just be aware and make others aware. Be a watchman. God bless you all.